Welcome to our latest ABI Snapshot, where we spotlight critical findings and the latest research from our global team of analysts. In this short interview, Vice President of Verticals and End Markets, Dominique Bonte, and I will discuss how location platforms allow enterprises to address various business and technical challenges in designing and commercializing their location products and services. So Dom, to begin, what is a location platform and which features and capabilities does it offer? Thanks, Mo. Thanks for having me for, for this session. So yeah, let's start with talking a little bit what actually location platforms are about. And I think we can distinguish eight dimensions. So let me quickly go through them to kind of explain what exactly a location uh, platform stands for. The first thing I want to mention is that it's a a central repository for maps and, and a whole range of other location content, which is easy to discover uh, and consume. So it's not just about mat maps, it's about map attributes, point of interest, and of course, real-time dynamic data as well. The second thing, key thing is of course, it's openness, the availability of APIs, allowing developers to access, again, a whole range of content, application, applications functionality, but also business logic for things like routing, geofencing, rendering, search, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So it comes with an SDK and a whole uh, IT tool set, which now increasingly includes uh, AI and uh, machine learning as well. The third dimension is also very critical. That's about visualizing whatever content or data is uh, being uh, used, uh, representing it in, you know, very visually engaging formats, so whether it's an interactive map or report, a dashboard or any other form it might take. Then going further, of course, a platform uh, is about data hosting and processing. It's where, you know, people bring their data and tap into that uh, whole range of capabilities either hosting their own content or tapping into content from, from other providers. Uh, private maps is just one example of that. So it's about data, which is ingested, which is clean, converted, enriched, combined with other data sets, but also standardized and, and verified against other data for uh, you know, high accuracy. And of course, if you talk about location, uh, privacy is also very important in terms of anonymizing location and travel path data and things like that. And of course, also consent management, uh, management for those cases where people provide uh, their own content linked to location. Kind of linked to that also is the concept of location as a service. Platforms actually allow clients to fully leverage the uh, kind of pre-built capabilities to, des to design their own personalized and branded location services. Uh, without having to spend all the effort and money to develop everything uh, from scratch. So it's about tapping into custom logic, workflow management, content processing, uh, and everything uh, in between. Also important is standardization. Increasingly, we see very complex ecosystems, end-to-end uh, -end, uh, services and solutions that sit actually across verticals. So it's very important to adhere to uh, main uh, data format standards, which very much enables uh, the exchange and aggregation of data from different suppliers and again between different industries as well. Another aspect which is maybe less well known is anything related to consulting, uh, professional and technical services or so whoever is offering a platform uh, typically also would provide these type of services. It could be related to integration of solutions into legacy solutions or any other type of uh, support activities. And then finally, and we'll get back to that in more detail, is the uh, phenomenon of marketplaces, uh, which is really both a entry point for the platform, but increasingly also very much a a focal point of the exchange and monetization of data between the various players of the ecosystem, which is building uh, around those platforms. Great, and to take a deeper dive, uh, what benefits do location platforms offer to enterprises? Yeah, so it's one thing to talk about features, of course, more importantly, what does it actually bring to enterprises? What can they achieve with this? And I think we can kind of highlight 
four main categories of benefits. Uh, each one of them are, are actually quite quite elaborate in, in the, uh, the width and the depth of the advantages. But so four major ones. The first one, the obvious one, I would say, is that it offers seamless and affordable access to global and granular location content. Uh, that, that's, that's kind of obvious, but kind of very important uh, if you consider that this wasn't available, let's say, 10 years uh, ago. The second one, and I kind of alluded to that already, is that uh, the cost and time savings that can be achieved by you know, using uh, platform services. It's kind of the buy versus build conundrum. Uh, instead of building everything from scratch, enterprises can now uh, just buy these services uh, as well. So very, very important uh, benefit as well. Then third one, I think, is, is that whole ecosystem enablement around platforms and around marketplaces. So marketplaces play a, a key role in this, bringing the various players within an ecosystem together. And it can even be competitors of each other, but they can still interact and engage and work with each other through these uh, marketplace uh, concepts. And then finally, and I think also very important, is the role a platform plays in enabling cross-vertical and end-to-end -end solutions. I mean, there's a lot of talk about how hard it is for industries to work together, for verticals to work together, uh, speaking different languages, having different data formats. Like actually, one way to look at platforms is that it kind of brings together in a kind of a unified, under a unified umbrella, uh, allowing uh, these uh, verticals to work with each other and develop solutions uh, across their uh, respective markets. Excellent. And Tom, um, why are these elements relevant and what might they look like in a real world context? So let, let's go one level deeper here. So and I'll take them again one by one. So the four major benefits and see what it really uh, looks like from a more you know, pragmatic or practical perspective. So let's take the first one. So seamless and affordable access to global uh, granular location content. You know, the way to think about this, I think, is about a one-stop shop, that fully integrated experience to access location data and enhance solutions with that uh, contextual awareness. So that's what enterprises have been looking for, while well, the platforms are offering that to them in a, in a very seamless way. So it's about access to ubiquitous location. Uh, many enterprises, many uh, tech providers are now increasingly operating globally, so they need to have that same content or access to, to that same content across the globe in all geographies uh, with all the issues that that used to bring. Now that platform can make that a much more uh, natural and seamless experience. It's also about the availability of uh, real-time and fresh data. Uh, which for many services is very, very important. So uh, real-time maps, uh, real-time points of interest is really opening the door for a lot more added value and a lot more innovative uh, location-based uh, solutions. And maybe finally, to kind of wrap this up as, as the first point here, it really comes down to the, the democratizing uh, access to location content of services, make it easy to discover, consume, and, and build applications around. So that's kind of the first point. I'm moving to the second point, and I already talked about uh, some of this uh, buy versus build, tapping into the capabilities uh, uh, of uh, platforms. And, and, and the big thing here is, you know, allowing enterprises to avoid uh, very expensive in-house design, development, maintenance, not only expensive, but also slowing down their go-to-market uh, uh, strategies and, and, and you know, taking them a lot more time to develop these solutions. So it, it really uh, kind of enhances and enables their, their business uh, practices as well. And of course, not just to take off-the-shelf solutions, but customize and personalize them. Platforms are really meant to tailor uh, or, or, you know, allow enterprises to tailor uh, to, to their requirements and, and what they really need and not just take something that has been developed, uh, pre-built and developed off the shelf. And that's actually, you know, an additional cost saving without having to sacrifice the customization 
the branding or uh, time to market. So that's kind of the, the second one. So moving to the third one, so the whole ecosystem enablement uh, through marketplace approaches. And I think the term marketplace, we've seen it appear uh, since like maybe five years across many technology areas. So there's no, no diff not, not different here in, in the location industry. Uh, location uh, marketplaces really are empowering enterprises to tap, to fully tap into the power of these complex uh, ecosystems. It's about a more easy way to interact, cooperate and commercialize their services. But it's also about bringing and, and you know, building new business models, whether it's based on revenue sharing, the competition, you know, you can work and compete uh, with other uh, parties, other companies at the same time. All of this is now made possible through that uh, marketplace uh, paradigm. And it's really, you know, if you think about it, they become focal points around which the entire business practice, not just of a single company, but of entire ecosystems are now developing. And it's still ongoing, but I think the ultimate goal is to have most, if not all of their business happening around those marketplaces. And then finally, the fourth benefit uh, was about cross vertical and end-to-end -end solutions, uh, addressing the, the friction between industries, something we hear about all the time. And what a platform does here is, is very much you know, supporting that emerging interconnectedness between segments and industries. Industries are no longer existing as, as standalone industries. They're engaging with all other industries. So having that unified solution, allowing them to operate across these long and complex value chain is in itself uh, offering tremendous value for all players involved there. I mentioned the standards, very important for removing that friction and enabling wider information uh, sharing and, and cooperation, certainly uh, another very important part there. So that kind of wraps up, I think, you know, all the, the elements around the benefits I was talking about previously. And to wrap, uh, how are location platforms transforming the location ecosystem? And what does that at current evolution look like? So the way I would describe it is that it is opening up it hurt proprietary and fragmented location environments. You know, I covered location uh, technologies for, for more than 10 years. And I certainly remember the days where there was an environment where every player, you know, developed everything from scratch, including the maps and the software, everything around it. So it's, it's really about opening up that industry and, and making location a seamless component of, of almost every single solution and technology we can think of. And as I said before, it's about democratizing uh, location content. It, it's easy to say, but you know, the repercussions of that are, are tremendous and, and, and the value this unlocks is, is, is really uh, very, very high. The second thing is that it has allowed enterprises to bring more innovation, um, adopting a much wider set of location data types and services across enterprise, something they wouldn't even have thought about uh, maybe 10 years ago, but now it, it's at their fingertips. Location is available through flat platforms that they can start integrating into everything they do and in, in that uh, way uh, enrich and bring more value to what they offer uh, to their clients. And then finally, uh, it is definitely driving wider ecosystem collaboration. We, we're seeing very complex value chains. I mentioned that before. And we hear about partnerships and it's kind of hard to have partnerships with a lot of companies individually on a, in a one-to-one -one fashion. Well, if you're part of a platform, you're kind of partnering with everybody almost automatically. So it really makes it so much easier to you know, be part of that uh, emerging platformation-based uh, ecosystem. And again, as I said in the beginning, we see this across many industries, many technologies, and it's probably one of the most important technology trends over the past uh, five years. And if we talk about uh, transformation, I think platforms definitely take central, uh, central place in how 
you know, um, industries or transforming in the way they tap into technologies and also commercializing those uh, same technologies. Great. Thank you, Dom, for your insights and your time today. And for more on location platform capabilities, functionality, and overall influence on the location ecosystem, please be sure to watch our on-demand webinar in which Dom takes a deeper dive into the potential of this transformational technology. Please visit abi.link slash location platform.